Hi everyone, this is your chess puzzler. With the Blitz rounds underway in the 2017 Paris Grand Tour and with Carlsen increasing the gap between himself and the runner-up Nakamura, there are very few people who are able to stop him. Carlsen is the absolute Blitz and Rapid King and though he was flagged and lost in his previous game, this was in fact the only game he lost in the entire tournament. And what I want to look at today is his game against a second player who is able to win him, Bashir Lagraf, a very good and expert blitz player. This is a game between Bashir Lagraf and Carlsen. In a game of 70 moves, I may want to skip some analysis on many moves, but I will stick to what matters. Maxime with white went right into the Italian with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, c3, knight f6, d3, a6, castles, d6, a4, Bishop a7, rook e1, castles, h3, h6, knight d2, rook e8, b4, bishop e6, takes, takes, and there is absolutely nothing new here. With knight f1, knight e7, knight g3, knight g6, d4, queen d7, and now d5, the rook returned to e8, and with a5, c6, c4, takes, takes, the rook got into c8, and with queen d3, Carlsen got his rook onto c7 with the idea to join up with the other rook. And with bishop d2, rook c8, and now knight f5, Carlsen got his rook onto c4. But with rook c1, rook takes, there are a few things going on. It doesn't matter how you play this one, but if you play it right, you will get the same outcome. We saw rook takes, queen recaptures, and now with knight takes d6, Carlsen was in time to come in with a check, and with the knight recapturing, the queen got out of trouble, and now with the knight returning to e4, the knight captured on d5. Maxim had a very excellent move and found it, but would you like to have a go in two? one and pause. Bishop takes h6 and if you take after the queen recaptures the knight the recapture can use the knight to fork the king and queen and the queen is returned with some compensation. Magnus avoided this variation and came in with bishop d4 and with queen c4 Maxime was going for the same continuation. With queen c6 the queens came off and with bishop d2 and now f5. The pressure was on the knight, and with knight d6, knight e7, knight f3, bishop a1, and now knight b7, Carlsen storms his pawn to e4, kicking the knight to g5. Knight c7 led to knight c5, and with bishop d4, Maxime came in with knight to e6, and with takes, takes, the bishop returned to a7, and with knight c7 and knight d5, the knight hit on the a pawn, and Maxime was in the lead. King f7 got the knight back into the action, and with the exchange on c5, Carlsen rushed to save the game by stopping or trying to stop the pawns from running. h4 led to knight a6. And with bishop e3, g6 and g4, I completely lost the plot and had no idea what was going on. King g2 allowed for the king to occupy a more central square. And with king g3 and now king f5, Magnus was in time to stop the taking of the g-pawn. Bishop d4 allowed the knight to b4. And with king back to g2, Carlsen returned his knight to a6. And with bishop e3, king e5, king h2, king e6, and now king g3, 
Carlson got his king back to f5. We then saw bishop d4, knight b4, and with bishop b2 and knight back to a6, Maxime got his bishop on a3, and with knight c7 and king g2, Carlsen was in no rush to do anything. His position is very solid, and there is nothing that can happen, and both players know it. The game went on with king f1, king e5, king e2, king d4, and here Maxim came in with a check. If you take the pawn, which is such a human move, it's going to lose to king e3, and now just look how the king's side pawns are all left unprotected. And once these fall, there is no way the knight can catch up with them in the game. And this explains why the king could not take on c5, but did Carlsen take the pawn? Yep, and this is why he lost the game, because after king e3, Carlsen rushed the king to d5, but it was already too late because everything became too obvious when the king found f4. With knight c5, king takes and now king c4, Carlsen was fighting a lost battle. Bishop a3 got the king to b5, and with takes, takes, the king got into f4, and from here it was a matter of time. King b5 dropped the pawn on e4, and with the king removing the a pawn, Maxime gets his pawn to f4, and with c5, h5, and g takes, the f pawn was walking uninterrupted, all the way to the other side. We quickly saw f5, h4, f6, h3, and Carlsen resigned. Why? Because king f3 can always stop the h pawn, and Carlsen knew it all too well. And with this loss from Carlsen, the competition becomes slightly more human, in that the gap between him and the other players is getting smaller. These games are going very fast, and I know we are all spoiled for choice. I will try to keep you all up to speed, but trust me, the Blitz games are going too fast to my liking, but nevertheless, I will do my best to keep you updated. And on this note, many thanks for taking part, and many, many thanks for watching. Much more to come, of course.